Hello everyone, my name is Ertsitsa and today I'm gonna continue my kind of little Anita story. I'm gonna continue my Town of Salem series, getting through all of the roles. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get through all the roles because there are still roles that I've never played but I'm trying. And today we're gonna have or review a retributionist game. This is an older record as you can see because it was the old design and soon I'm gonna be coming out with the renewed Fan of Salem videos. But now I have a retributionist. Uh, the retri uh, it says you're a powerful mystic who will give one person a second chance at life and I'm gonna be getting into it more what does it mean so yes um, the retreat is a town supportive it don't have any defense and didn't attack uh, I can revive or rest someone from the dead I can only rest someone if they are down and not cleaned and not left didn't left didn't leave I'm trying and as a town member I want every evil to die so that's what I'm doing and I ask for TP and LO, town protecting and the lookout, but only for three days because after three days I'm gonna be 100% most of the time. Let's say 90%. I bring back, bring back someone at night, free at least. Why, why I feel weird. So, yes, first night I can't do anything, I can't even visit. I'm at home and doing nothing because I am only doing something if a town is dead and I can do something but now I just can't the first night And I will even write it in my what's this last will that nothing happened to me night one, or I didn't notice anything. I feel weird. Ah, I did make up a long time ago. So yeah, that means if someone was cleaned, we don't know their role and their last will only the janitor. I don't, don't know if I talked about the janitor yet or not, but it's for another video. Only the janitor knows who's a mafia, random mafia role. So I can't rest. And yeah, the jailer died, so I messaged to the jailer because dead people can see the daily chat. We don't leave jailer because I want to resurrect. Rest, revive the jailer because jailer and mayor are really important roles. So, yeah, and I've been told I'll bring back jailer. Everyone knows I'm the rest. I ask for TPLO for tonight, and if I'm um, successfully reviving. Jailer, then I won't need DP anymore because I did my job. I'm not that important town after that. I'm gonna be just voting power. So that's why. And yes, nothing interesting happening. Yeah, and I asked the jailer to get the clean ones raw and will and I I'm resting Yoda right now 
there are these um, shorter words and things. Retri means retribution, is, TS means I'm a town support, RT means I'm a random town, and I don't know what I wanted to do. Rest means I'm gonna revive the jailer. Uh, we use these short words to type faster. I, I even type really, really slow and bad. <laughs> With bad grammar. I was trans. I was not happy that I was trans when I asked for TP, Town Protective and for an LO because I was trans out from their protection and it happens when a transporter thinks that TP means transporter but no TP means time protected transporter is trans or TS TS is time supported trans is trans and transporter not something else as that is it. Ooh, that was bad that the, the mayor died, but I bought back chiller and I'm if I'm gonna be honest you most of the time I think um chiller is more important a little bit than the mayor but it depends on the situation. And yes. And then we figured out some stuff. Yeah, that's the one who died first night was Spy, what was in No Homo's Will, etc. etc. And then that John is not serial killer. It was just a coincidence because if Jill or Jill is the serial killer and don't kill it, then the serial killer gonna kill the jailer. That's why when jailer dies and someone was jailed, we says that the jailed one is the serial killer. So yes, that's it. I am just checking like the chat log to check who claimed what and everything, because you can find out a lot of stuff from that. And I'm just gonna be going. Yeah, I don't have more rest. I only have one rest. Yeah, no one. They said someone was jailed night two, but night two jailer was dead, so no one could be jailed. And I'm asking for rules because I'm a confirmed town and we didn't get rules from them and they are a little bit sus. It has a um, complete uh, thought train, I don't know how they say that, why I did and what I did and why I did that. Yes, I can't talk. Yes, I can't talk. Okay. So, but I not really remembering every time and I don't know what was the mindset that how I played this game, but after I'm done as a retry, I'm not paying too much attention after that. After I'm died as a retry, I'm just, I'm gonna go out and drink something because there's no use of staying here and doing stuff. I only hear when I, as now I'm a voting power for town, a confirmed voting power, so I, I'm a strong town member right now. But I'm just gonna skip these points. The jailer killed the mafia member, the jailer died again. I can't bring that. Too much, too much, too much. TP claims here. And this is when I start to write down what happened at the day and why I can't stop spinning. So 
So there's nothing there interesting. What I was. Oh, I don't know what I was voting. I don't even know. Don't know. I don't even remember. What I was. Oh, I said guilty. Guilty, guilty arses, they say that, but I'm confident town, so. And I wasn't sure where they were, what were they. I think there was still one RT place, one random town place, because one town support was me or there was RT1 was me, the red, and RT2 was the trans, if I'm right. And yeah, the shadow died. They tried to still get me, but free versus free the game is so it's hard to um, win for each side it's free mafia versus free town because so it's it's hard Hard to win from here, but I think we still have a town king, so we possibly can win from here. And yeah, it was a mafia win. So that was it for today. I showed the game when I was a retributionist. It wasn't a really good game, but it was a good example of how a retributionist works and how the games works and it was in a kind of nice that no one spoiled any film and no one game trolled or cheated because it usually happens in this game but don't get me wrong don't turn away and say you won't play this game because it's full of cheaters and throwers and spoilers it's a really good game but there are a lot of really really bad players there and not just the lack of skill they are mean or evil or they just want to cause harm or ruin the game for someone else but if you're in a good game like this is a really good game, really friendly and everything, it, it's really good, it feels good, even after um, I lost at this game, but it was a nice loss, I, I think it was a good game, not, not that good, but a good game, I don't want to get into this, but I don't want to say that I don't recommend this game because it's full of idiots. Every game is full of idiots. Mostly. But be prepared for it that you can get some super good matches and some super bad matches with super bad people. But it's worth the time and playing this game for the good. The good matches are that good that it's worth it playing with it. I play with it a lot. I have the most hours in this game in my Steam library and it says a lot about this game. Once I was playing with this from 11 hours, for, for 11 hours. Yeah, it's a good game and really addictive and I can get really angry and tense about this game when I'm with throwers or just really stupid people who don't understand what they say and apparently can't read sometimes and I 
swore to God several times that I'm gonna delete this game, but I never did. So, even if you're gonna be hating this game, you want to play with it, or I'm just, I just love to torture myself. But I want to say in conclusion, and I want this to be in your mind, the last thing that you heard about me. Town of Salem is a good game and I really recommend it. So I'm just gonna leave it with you with this. So if you like this, please let me know. Don't forget to subscribe. There's a lot of link in the description that you should check out. Please leave some sweet comments in the comment section and see you in the next video. Bye!